All right, guys, I'm here with some information for Dragon Ball Legends. Now, for the longest while now, we've been wondering when these particular units were finally going to come into the game, because if I'm not mistaken, they were data mined, I believe, around the time when the game came out. But finally, after many months of waiting, we have the confirmation that Kale and Khalifla are finally coming into Dragon Ball Legends in the next banner. Specifically, it seems to be Berserker Kale and Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. But anyways, we do have translations for the post as well, and it says, Kale is able to destroy the opponent's hand and obstruct combos. Her super attack is the gigantic impact. When she activates her main ability, she is able to inflict debuffing effects on the enemy. Now, this actually seems kind of solid because it, she's not as, I'll say, as wild as Dragon Ball Super Broly, who's just able to completely tank key blasts and just rush through the enemy practically and if he uses his ultimate attack then it's able to completely destroy somebody's hand well not completely but i believe what knock off two cards kale has i guess the opponent like card destruction aspect where if she attacks and she can destroy the opponent's hand i don't know if that's even in correlation with her ultimate attack if that's just her attacking in general then that's actually really big because so long as you land i'm assuming key blast and strike arts then you can practically decimate your opponent's hand and make it harder for them to try to combo you which is which could be fairly viable I, I would love to see how that would be incorporated in people's teams because obviously the harder it is for them to combo you then the greater chance you have to either gain your stamina regain your key or just continue to pursue them until you end up destroying the characters one by one so kale actually seems like she's gonna be pretty solid and then the last character is khalifla and it says Khalifa's super attack is the crash cannon, although I'm pretty sure that her super attack should be called crush cannon, but I digress. Anyway, she's able to inflict more damage when fighting against Saiyans and is able to perform well no matter the enemy she is facing. If there is a female character on her team, she increases her damage dealt whenever the enemy switches out. Now, I actually like Khalifa's stats a bit more, and the main thing is because it says that she fights well against Saiyans, so that means that she could be a potential threat against Right now, the best Saiyan that's out there, which is Dragon Ball Super Broly, the Super Saiyan one anyway. And not only that, but it also says that she's able to perform well no matter the enemy she is facing, which leads me to assume that she may potentially disregard element factor, which could be big. And the reason why I say that could be big is because prime example is, you know, the Dragon Ball Super, Super Saiyan Broly, where I believe for either 10 to 20 timer counts i'm pretty sure it's like 10 to 15 on uh, timer counts he's able to disregard element factor which has him completely well okay i won't say completely but it does have him fair off decently well against yellow units because you know if the element factor were to take effect then even though he's still a strong unit it wouldn't be as good as he could be so if this is a perk that khalifa has then i see this being extremely viable and especially if she's uh i'll say like a yellow unit then she's already a threat to broly but it's, um, even so, if she's a yellow unit, then she can be a threat to Gogeta or Super Saiyan God Goku, etc., etc. You know, things like that. So to see her disregard element factor so she can continue dealing damage sounds like it would be a really, really good thing. But again, we won't know until we get our hands on her. And also, it says that, of course, if there's a female character on her team, she increases her damage dealt whenever the enemy switches out. So... Obviously, you're gonna. It, it would be weird to have Khalifa on your team and not pair her with Kale at all. That that just doesn't even sound right. But um, if you make like an all-female team, then you're practically buffing the living crap out of Khalifa. And if your opponent continuously switches out, then Khalifa gets a buff every single time. Well, I don't know if it's every single time, but she gets a buff for when they switch out. So that sounds like it could be really good. So you can build a team based off of Khalifa being i guess like the end of your team and have like i guess kale as a potential point i don't know but even so that's it for khalifa and these two units seem to be pretty decent now the only downside is i don't know if this will even count towards hybrid saiyans because right now hybrid saiyans are kind of slowly getting back up there but i guess only time will tell but either way kale and khalifa are both coming into dragon ball legends let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, I'm Indakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.